Typically in an environment like that, the puppies wouldn't survive because of all of the struggling for, for the resources. My name is Jessica Johnson and I'm the Senior Director for the Animal Rescue Team. You know, you're just in this beautiful countryside and it's just this stark contrast of this gorgeous landscape and this intense amount of suffering that's happening in the same scene. We're going to do the walkthrough of the... They've just been living in these packs in the middle of this desert and just struggling for everything that they needed to just survive. These dogs are behaviorally unique. They're not used to humans. They're, you know, they haven't been socialized. It took a really specialized effort to even remove them from the property. It was this tall privacy fence. We couldn't see inside. So, you know, we walked in and we were just starting to look around and quickly realized that this was not going to be a situation where we could just leash the dogs and you know have them walk away with us. So it was going to take a lot of patience, a lot of experience, handling experience, just knowledge with behavior to even safely remove them, safely for the dogs and then safely for, for our team too. You know, just you see like this little like shadows at first, you know, little eyes kind of peering out from underneath the porch. And, you know, we just, we kept counting and we're like, oh, there's four, oh, there's six, oh, there's eight. And there ended up being 15 of them in this one area. There we go. All right, easy, there we go. I just pushed them in, yeah. Um, You know, we, we know that other puppies didn't survive on this property, so and it's pretty remarkable in that in that situation with so many adult dogs that these puppies were even still alive. I, I can't imagine what the the, the mother dogs have, have been through living in this environment and they're struggling to survive themselves, but also you know just having having the, the, the will and the you know capacity to keep their keep their puppies safe. So some of the puppies have a pretty significant heart murmur. So you know there's definitely some some medical conditions here. There's a lot of fleas, uh, upper respiratory. It, it is just you know really incredible with such limited resources that the, the moms were able to to keep the puppies you know, alive and well. We're so incredibly thankful to the San Miguel County Sheriff's Office and the 4th Judicial District Attorney's Office for realizing that animal crimes are worth fighting for. So often we see law enforcement that isn't willing to take on a case of this size and they don't know what to do and they get overwhelmed. And we're just so thankful for these agencies that they didn't walk away from this. This deployment has felt a little more emotional than others. We're so hopeful that these dogs will get to a point where they can be in a home and they can be happy and they can know what being a dog should feel like. There's this intense sadness for the adult dogs that have already lived this way for several years, but there's also this incredible hope and joy for these puppies knowing that they'll never have to experience what the other dogs did. It's, it's probably going to be a long road for some of these dogs, but we're going to do everything that we can to, um, to make their life better. <laughs>